The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. From the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 19, verses 25 to 27. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there, whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. We are now in the uh, second day of our Novena Masses in preparation and in honor of our patron saint, Saint Padre Pio. Our sponsors for the second day Novena Mass are from Armela, Happy Family, Napa, Creekville, Bagong Sibol, Talisay, and Duhat. We are still in the virtual Novena Mass, but tomorrow we start the in-person Novena Mass, third day, 10% in-person. Maraming salamat sa mga sponsors. Palakpakan natin sila virtually, virtually. Ayan. At ang ating misa ngayon ay para sa mga kaluluwa ng mga pumanaw dahil sa COVID-19 at para sa mga naiwang pamilya. Ang pagdiriwang natin ng uh, Memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows ay nakaugnay, may ugnayan sa ating pagdiriwang kahapon ng Exaltation of the Cross. Sa Ebanghelyo lang ni San Juan, nakatala na si Maria, ina ni Jesus, ay nasa paana ng krus kasama ng dalawa pang Maria at ang beloved disciple. Siguro, kaya nating uh, ilarawan kung ano yung kirot at pagdurusa ng isang ina habang nakikita niya ang isang anak, ang kanyang anak na nakabayubay sa krus. At dahil dito, nakiisa si Maria sa pagdurusa ni Jesus. Lalong-lalo na nung patay na si Jesus at siya ay uh, sinibat sa tagiliran, hindi na naramdaman ni Jesus yun. Ang nakadaba ng uh, sakit ay yung kanyang inang nasa paana ng krus. At dahil dito, nagkaroon ng uh, devotion to the seven sorrows of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Ang pakikiisa ni Maria sa pagdarusa ni Jesus ay nagkaroon din ng uh, ugnayan sa kaligtasan ng sangkatauhan. Dito natin makikita ang halimbawa ni Maria na nakikiisa sa pagdurusa ng Panginoon para iligtas ang buong sangkatauhan. And what are the seven sorrows of the Blessed Virgin Mary? The prophecy of Simeon. Yan yung alternative gospel natin, alternate gospel natin sa araw na ito, na kung saan nagbigay ng propesya ang prophet Simeon that the sword of sorrow would pierce Mary's heart. The flight into Egypt, sila ay naging mga bakwit sa Egypt. Dahil hinahabol sila, balak patayin ang, pang, ang ninyo Jesus. Pangatlo, the loss of the child Jesus for three days in the temple. Number four, meeting Jesus on the way to Calvary. Number five, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Yan yung ating ebanghelyo ngayon. Number six, Jesus taken down from the cross. Yan yung inspiration ng uh, beautiful sculpture na Lapieta. And the last, Jesus is laid in the tomb. Habang ang lahat ng sangkatauhan ngayon sa buong daigdig ay nais magkaroon ng pagninilay at kahulugan dahil sa pandemyang 
hinaharap natin. May kadiliman, may sense of suffering and abandonment. Ang ating uh, patron saint, Saint Padre Pio, ay nagbibigay sa atin ng daan para harapin ang pandemyang ito. Dahil hinarap niya rin ang isa bang klaseng pandemya nung kanyang panahon, the Spanish flu. Just over 100 years ago, the world was devastated by a different virus, the Spanish flu of 1918 to 1920, spared no country, leading to as many as 100 million deaths worldwide. Kahit si Saint si Saint Padre Pio ay uh, na katatapos lang tanggapin ang stigmata, siya ay na-infect din ang Spanish flu. So you could just imagine yung kanyang pagdurusa, yung kanyang mga fellow friars, at yung kahit yung kanyang sariling pamilya ay tinamaan ng Spanish flu sa kanyang birthplace in Pietrel, China. Ano kaya ang naging loobi niya sa pagharap sa pandemyang ito nung araw? How did he react when he became infected? What did he do for those close to him who fell ill? How did he respond when his own dear sister and other family members lost their lives from the virus? Saint Padre Pio did not experience suffering as a random scourge, a meaningless burden, or with despair. Instead, he faced it with holy resignation and abandonment to the will of God, like the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Sorrows. Naunawaan ni Saint Padre Pio yung pagdurusa mismo sa kanyang katawan sa pamamagitan ng istigmata. At dito niya nakita yung ugnayan ng pagdurusa at kaligtasan, ang krus at muling pagkabuhay. Siya ay naging disipulo ng Our Lady of Sorrows. Padre Pio faced everything with the Virgin Mary always at his side. Padre Pio shows us how to face a pandemic as a Christian, as a disciple of Our Lady of Sorrows. Kaya sa misang ito, patuloy natin ipagdasal ang mga pumanaw na dahil sa COVID-19 at yung kanilang mga naiwang pamilya. 35,500 plus ang pumanaw na sa ating bansa lamang. Minsan, tinitignan natin ito bilang isang numero lang, pero bawat isang pumanaw ay may pamilyang namimighati. Kahit na nakaraan na ilang panahon, last year pa, dala-dala ng mga namimighating mga family members yung kakaibang pagdurusa. Si Maria, nakita niya ang kanyang anak na matay at na nayakap pa niya. Pero yung ating mga pumapayapa dahil sa COVID-19, pagpasok sa ospital, hindi mo na makikita. Pagbalik sa bahay, abo na. And this is the suffering of those who have experienced losing someone they love because of COVID-19. Let us ask the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Soros, para maibsan yung pagdurusang ito. Katulad last year, uh, I made a very raw comparison with uh, war. Yung ating digmaan laban sa COVID-19, yung mga pumanaw dahil sa COVID-19, sila yung sumangga ng bala para sa atin. They are also heroes, whether they like it or not. Sila yung naging abo instead of us. Buhay pa tayo ngayon dahil sila yung sumangga para sa atin. Kaya ipagdasal natin sila. Ipagdasal natin sa misang ito, the second day novena mass, as we pray for them, as we honor them, and as we continue to have our support and thoughtfulness for the bereaved families.
35,500 plus is just not a number. It is a life lost. A loved one who was lost. Or rather, someone who has been found and now is in heaven. So we pray and continually pray that uh, through the intercession of Our Lady of Sorrows and St. Padre Pio, we can face this pandemic in the spirit of uh, accepting the will of God and uniting our sufferings, our little sacrifices with the passion of Jesus Christ, like Mary, the mother of Jesus, the mother of the church, and our mother too. And so we conclude, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Mm -hmm.